Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of Nature Inspires with Humboldt Bay National Wildlife Refuge. My name is Nicole, I'm a zoologist, and today I'm gonna to be talking about our furry flying friends up in the nighttime sky, bats. Although we don't see them that often, bats make up about a fourth of the total mammal species in our animal kingdom and are the only type of mammal with true flight rather than gliding or soaring. And unlike birds, bat wings are essentially like human hands with elongated fingers that can bend and maneuver the bat, allowing them to turn quickly and pick up their prey during flight. When it comes to prey, most bat species eat insects and tend to live near bodies of water for that reason. There are also species that will eat nectar, fruit, pollen, animal blood, and some that even eat fish and crustaceans. Some bats, like the little brown bat, will eat half of their body weight every night. This is the same as a person that weighs 180 pounds, eating 360 hamburgers in one day. On top of that, nursing mothers can eat the equivalent to their entire body weight in one night, so that's like eating 720 hamburgers. Woo! Some bat species are solitary, meaning that they like to roost alone, whether that be underneath a shingle, on the side of a house, or inside of a tree crevice. Some local Humboldt species that are considered solitary are the Townsend big-eared bat, the silver-haired bat, and the California myotis. The bats that are a little more social than the solitary ones live in groups called colonies, where they squeeze together for warmth, nurse their young, and socialize with one another. Bats specialize in targeting their prey with something called echolocation, where they make tiny calls in a high frequency that the human ear cannot hear, and they listen to the noises that bounce back into their proportionally large ears. Here's an example of how bat echolocation works. If we tossed a ping pong ball at a wall, we could see it bounce back towards us. The ping pong ball kind of acts like the bat's call. After it hits the object, our eyes are like the bat's ears that captures the signal of its return. Now, imagine we are in the dark, trying to capture a flying burrito. We launch many ping pong balls around until one hits the flying burrito and returns to us. Now we know the location of the flying burrito and we can try to capture it before it escapes. We see bats all around the world and in many different habitats in Humboldt County, including caves, buildings, trees, bridges, rock crevices, and human-made bat boxes that are specialized homes or rest stops for our little friends. They are nocturnal, so they sleep during the day and are awake during the night, and some species will migrate in the winter to undergo something called torpor. Torpor is like mini hibernation, where they have intervals of slowing down their heart rate and sleeping until it warms up and the insects come back out in the spring. As I hope you've learned today, bats play an important key in our ecosystem, from pollination to pest control. They do it all. However, we're seeing a decline in populations all around the world due to the spread of diseases, the use of pesticides, and habitat destruction. If you'd like to help, you could put a bat box up outside of your house, avoid using pesticides in your garden, and volunteering in a local bat conservation group or project. I hope we can all collaborate and help to save these amazing creatures that need our help more than ever. Thanks for watching another episode of Nature Inspires. Have a nice day. Bye.